Hey there, I'm Jingjing. It's sunny, it's warm. It couldn't be a better day to tour around Macau. Everywhere you go, you can see the fusion of the Western culture and Eastern culture. I never heard it today. I've got a task. Ooh, what is this? Is that my task? Let me see. Within just 30.5 square kilometers, China's Macau Special Administrative Region has more than 20 museums, almost one per square kilometer. I never got a challenge. How many museums can you visit in a single day? So I think I better check all the museums in Macau. But on top of the list, there's a Macau Museum, which is opening soon. Let's go. So here is the shrine for the local god of land on the side of the house. Many people here believe in Buddhism, so they pray to the local god of land and believe they can prevent them from disasters. And even nowadays, if you walk on the modern street of Macau, you still you will see a lot of shrines on the side of many stores. But what I really want to show you is this one. Do you see that? There's a little symbol on the right top of the letter P. That is a Chinese character means well. And why do they need to put well on their plate? Because that means this house has a well in their yard. But why do they need to tell everybody that we have a well in our yard? Because back then, the houses in Macau are made with wood, so the wooden architectures will easily get fire, set on fire. So when they, there's a fire, they need to know where is the nearest well to get the water to put out the fire. In front of me, this pink building is a total Western architecture. This belongs to the Portuguese people who used to live in Macau, a typical Western architecture. So this imaginary street is a recreation by the Macau Museum. But I heard there are still Asian Portuguese houses in Macau, and I'm gonna take you to see it now. Whew. Here I am at the Mechanics Living Museum. Behind me are authentic Portuguese style houses that belong to the Mechanics living in the 90s. Let's go inside. So this is the living room and the reading room belongs to a Portuguese family since the 1921. As I entered this room, I saw so many cultural elements from both the Eastern culture and the Western culture. For example, over here, the bookshelf, the chairs and the desk, they are pretty typical Chinese furniture, the wooden carving. And, but over here, you can see on the wall, there are the photos of the family and their friends. They look very Portuguese. The dining room of this mechanic's family is much more Western. For example, on the ceiling, you see there's a chandelier. A traditional Chinese ordinary family wouldn't be able to use a chandelier. And on the other side of the wall, you can see there's a clock. Clocks mean a lot to Macau. And they have a special museum for all the clocks. And that is the place I'm standing in right now, Macau Time Piece Museum. I'm surrounded by all kinds of Asian clocks from around the world. But in this museum, they have so many complicated clocks like this one. Let me show you. Oh. Um, can you introduce this this clock to me? It looks so special. Uh, this is a 19th century Baoyinghe. Alright. Wow, I've never learned so much about the watches and clocks. This museum is right next to St. Paul's Ruins. If you come to Macau, if you come to St. Paul's Ruins, you should definitely come here. This timepiece museum is worth your time. And it looks like I still have some time to visit another museum. Now I'm inside this Hanover Gifts Museum of Macau. In the year 1999, when Macau returned to China, 
all provinces and cities give their blessings and gifts to Macau. And now this museum showcases all the gifts. For example, this one right next to me is from Guangdong province. It's made of jade and crystal. It looks gigantic, but if you look inside this jade, you see there are nine holes and there were nine different layers. It represents the year 1999 and also represents the unification of China. And there's another gigantic tower. This give it is from Shanxi province. This is called Stork Tower, one of the four most iconic towers in China. And so to give their blessings to Macau, Shanxi made a replica of their Stork Tower with walnut tree. Well, here's another fun fact about this sculpture. The height of this tower is 1.999 meters. That also represents the year 1999. This gift is from the State Council of China. It is called Blooming Lotus in a Prosperous Era. The Golden Lotus represents the prosperity of Macau. This is a much smaller version of this statue. The much bigger version is located at the Lotus Square in the city center. If you're coming to Macau, you definitely won't miss it. So now the sun is getting down. I visited four museums within a day. But there's still so many more special museums out there in Macau. How many can you visit? Let me know your answer next time you come to Macau.